Space is unforgiving, and for the three Chinese astronauts aboard Tiangong in November 2025, danger struck without warning. During a routine check, the crew discovered tiny cracks in a window of their Shenzhou 20 return capsule, evidence of a high-speed debris impact. This seemingly minor damage turned their spacecraft into a potential death trap, halting all science and shifting focus to survival. Engineers on the ground using photos and simulations quickly determined Shenzhou 20 was unsafe for re-entry. The window could fail catastrophically during descent. The astronauts led by Commander Chen Dong were suddenly stranded in orbit, their return home postponed as mission control scrambled for solutions. The answer... Use. The newly arrived Shenzhou 21 docked just days earlier as their lifeboat. In a tense, carefully planned maneuver, the crew transferred to Shenzhou 21 and returned safely to Earth on November 14. This unprecedented emergency forced China's space program to confront the ever-present hazards of orbital debris. For the first time, a Shenzhou crew had to abandon their primary vehicle in space, a sobering milestone. The incident underscored just how quickly routine can turn to crisis in the final frontier. The safe return of the Shenzhou 20 crew left the new Tiangong occupants without a dedicated escape vehicle, a serious risk. In response, China's space agency launched an emergency campaign to restore rescue capability. Within just 16 days, engineers at Juquan prepared and launched an uncrewed Shenzhou spacecraft, demonstrating remarkable speed and readiness. This rapid response was possible thanks to China's policy of keeping backup rockets and capsules on standby, ready for emergencies. The new Shenzhou, autonomously docked with Tiangong, restoring the crew's lifeboat and closing the safety gap. Few nations can match this level of operational resilience and redundancy. The swift action showcased China's ability to handle in orbit crises and maintain crew safety. It also highlighted the strategic foresight built into China's space station operations. The accelerated launch of Shenzhou-22 sent a clear message, China is prepared for the unexpected in space. With its crew safe, the damaged Shenzhou-20 remains docked to Tiangong, a reminder of the recent emergency. But it can't stay there forever. Its docking port is needed for future missions. Rather than waste the opportunity, China will use Shenzhou-20 for experiments, studying how space and debris impacts affect spacecraft components. The cracks in its window, caused by a tiny fragment of debris, made re-entry far too risky. No agency would gamble with astronaut lives. The incident has provided valuable data to improve future spacecraft design and shielding. Once tests are complete, Shenzhou-20 will undock and be deorbited in a controlled descent over the South Pacific. Most of the craft will burn up in the atmosphere, with only a few pieces possibly reaching the ocean. This careful disposal will clear the docking port and safely remove the damaged vehicle from orbit. The episode closes with lessons learned and a renewed focus on safety. Shenzhou-20's fate turns a near disaster into a scientific opportunity. The Shenzhou-20 emergency is part of a growing global crisis space debris. Earth's orbit is crowded with junk, defunct satellites, rocket fragments, and collision debris, all traveling at lethal speeds. Recent years have seen similar incidents, from Russia's Soyuz coolant leak to NASA's Starliner stranding, exposing the vulnerability of all space programs. Each new collision adds more debris, increasing the risk for astronauts and satellites alike, a dangerous cycle known as the Kessler syndrome. Despite the shared threat, there's still no international rescue system for stranded astronauts. Responses remain nation-specific and ad hoc. As more players enter space, the need for global cooperation and a universal rescue framework grows ever more urgent. The Shenzhou 20 drama is a warning, space safety is a shared responsibility. In response to recent challenges, China is fast-tracking its next-generation crew vehicle, Mengzhou-1, or Dream Vessel. Debuting in 2026, Mengzhou is a leap beyond Shenzhou, with capacity for six astronauts and partial reusability. It's designed for both Tiangong missions and future lunar landings, supporting China's deep space ambitions. Safety is paramount. Mengzhou features an advanced launch abort system and robust shielding, incorporating hard lessons from Shenzhou-20. Its flexible design will enable efficient crew rotations, space tourism, and international partnerships. Mengzhou is also built to withstand the harsher conditions of lunar return, paving the way for China's moon missions. 
By unifying orbital and lunar capabilities in one platform, China is preparing for a new era of exploration. The Dream Vessel is set to become the workhorse of China's human spaceflight program. Alongside Mengzhou, China is developing two new cargo vehicles, the Haolong spaceplane and the Qingzhou cargo craft. How long, a reusable winged spaceplane, can land on runways and return valuable cargo from orbit, a capability lost since the space shuttle. It will enable the return of experiments, manufactured goods, and equipment, revolutionizing space logistics. Qingzhou, a compact automated cargo craft, features smart inventory and modular cold storage for sensitive materials. Designed for efficiency, Qingzhou will handle routine deliveries, while Hao Long manages heavy lift and return missions. Both vehicles are compatible with new reusable rockets, reducing costs and increasing flexibility. This dual approach will modernize China's orbital supply chain, supporting a sustainable research environment aboard Tiangong. Together, Hao Long and Qingzhou ensure China's space station remains well supplied and future ready. The Shenzhou 20 incident is just one chapter in China's broader cosmic ambitions. China is investing in quantum communication satellites for unhackable global networks and space-based supercomputing for AI and big data. Plans for orbital solar power stations could deliver clean energy to Earth around the clock, transforming the global energy landscape. Advanced propulsion research, including nuclear thermal and nuclear electric systems, aims to make deep space travel faster and more practical. These projects are not just technological feats, they're strategic moves to secure China's leadership in the space economy. The rapid response to crisis, new spacecraft, and visionary projects all point to a nation determined to shape the future of space. For China, the journey to the stars is just beginning. The lessons of Shenzhou 20 will echo through every mission to come.